Woo! What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. I got something down there just being on hold. All right, so I'm doing a reveal today, and luckily I had my uh, my Steel Wheel C22, my cut jack, and I was able to open up this package, no problem. So now I brought you a uh, Chinois Tonto, and it was awesome, right? So now and you guys know i freaking hate tabletop reviews I, I hate them but this one i got for somebody else so i naturally can't take it outside and beat the snot out of it and then say here you go so today i'm doing a reveal but with a little extra so this is the shinwa um right there the shinwa regal katana it's the Teal Sword Damascus. And I'm going to try to keep everything in English, you know, for you guys today. Instead of, you know, barking up everything from Suba to Suka, we are going to just give you the, uh, the English quick version here because I just want to show you guys this sword. First of all, look at the box this thing comes in, right? It is latched. It is beautiful. What a, a really nice presentation. Um, so I know I know my buddy's going to be happy getting this thing. Um, it's all uh, dragons and stuff like that. Oh, I'm over here bending these latches. They actually slide out. I was trying to lift them up. I'm going to break them before I give them to them. Whoo-wee! All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm looking at when I open this box. I'm looking at that paper falling down, but I'm looking at all that. So here's like the note of authenticity. I think the other thing is like a care for it type thing, but holy mackerel. What a beautiful display. This is the carry bag, right? Freaking, I'm not gonna undo it because it's for him. I'll let him undo it. But it basically, <laughs> another Shinwa, and this is all I'm gonna show you this. Um, it looks like that. It looks like that. So, oh man, um, this thing is this thing is nice just right away. Just looking at it, this thing is impressive. And I'm gonna give you guys some some quick specs here. We are looking at a uh, 39 inch overall sword, um, and you are looking at a 26 and a half Damascus blade. Whew, wow. Um, the, that is, um, so nice. That is over 2000, um, layers of folded Damascus. This thing is pretty. I mean, it is pretty. I saw the teal and he told me he wanted a sword and I said, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to hook you up. So I picked this one up for him and, uh, it comes razor freaking sharp. So badly do I want to take this outside and um, and use it, but it's not my sword. It's not my sword. So I'm not going to do that. But what I wanted to do is give you guys a presentation. If you have been looking at this sword, um, I want you to be able to see what I see, right? And that is genuine ray, right? We are not talking about um, synthetic look at this sword Ooh -wee. um look at this freaking sword it is beautiful i don't think there's any other measurements or anything like that on it i'm um, just trying to see what they just offering from shinwa damascus steel hand folded uh blah 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 and it is hand forged um i am sweating i just walked five miles and it's really hot and i'm sweating um so yeah, it just talks about the nylon cord and the and the uh, authentic ray. Oh, this is what I want them to do. I want them to show you this. I want them to show you this. That's it's all oil, so you have to look through the oil to see the Damascus. But you could see. Wowzers! All right, so look at this. Wow, how freaking pretty is that pattern? And it is. I'm telling you, just from feeling it. It is sharp. So now this um, katana with the 
uh, sweeping curve in a spine was popular among the samurai. And um, that's exactly what they used in, in within the samurai, and it was brought on to the Japanese military. They all used the curved um, katanas. And I personally love them. Now, you see a lot of people, they take them and they slam them in there. Um, that's bad because a real katana is going to have bamboo. Unless you get a couple of the World War II ones that are steel, but they still have wood on the inside. But what happens is if you jam it in there, eventually what's going to happen is the wood is going to expand, 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 expand. And it's not going to fit tight and you're going to get a rattle. And that's exactly what you don't want in your katana. So try to not slam it tight. Put it in there just so it fits snug enough to where it's not going to fall out. That's where you want it. When you open your katana, you don't just pull it. You use your thumb and you push as you pull. That way your, um, your thumb rides along the spine and it's going to come out quieter. Um, like you see in the old Kung Fu theater movies and stuff where they pull out their katanas really fast and it goes ching and makes this weird sound. Um, that's not realistic. Don't, don't fall for that crap. Um, but this guy right here, my buddy is going to be so stoked. So stoked. This is beautiful. Now, here's the cool thing. When they sent me this, they sent me something I didn't know they were sending me. And it's a Timberwolf. Right here. Um, and it's the TW520. I don't know if there's any special name for it, but everybody knows the Crocodile Dundee knife. The shape has been done over and over and over again. Um, they sent me the Damascus version of this. I did not know this was coming. How sweet it is. So while it's considered a budget blade, so far everything from Timberwolf that I've been using has, um, has held up. And I'm hoping that this one has a three-quarter stick tang with a small um, screw end for the pommel, much like the, um, the Outback knife from Down Under Knives. It has got a huge tang for something like this with a tiny little screw end on the end. Um, this one, I don't know if it's made that well, but to be sure that I'm not going to ruin it, and this is how you should do any kind of hidden tang knife, I will swing from the front guard, not the rear guard. If all your swings come from the rear, you're putting all your pressure on the weakest point. So when you swing a blade that you especially don't know what the end looks like, always try and keep it as close to the hilt as possible because that's where the meatiest part of the tang is. So you have less chances of breaking your knife. Um, without knowing what's going on inside of this thing, that's what I'll be doing. Now, talking about this thing, we do have a brass handguard and a brass pommel. You have a stag handle with what looks like leather spacers. And um, I have to say that it's pretty attractive. I'll be doing a review on this one, getting it out of the way. Um, it's going to go in right behind me and I covered with a whole bunch of stuff to review. I just thought it was cool that they sent this. Now, for those disappointed that they're not going to be able to see a Shinwa um, katana in action, well, don't be disappointed because pretty soon... I'm not pretty sure when, but now that I'm bringing you this, I might as well do it pretty soon. I picked up this one for me. And this one is um, the ninja style, right? It was used more in China. Um, this is more of an assassin's blade than a warrior's blade, right? Um, the straight style spine was more used and in common with um, a ninja and having the four pointed um, suba what would happen is a lot of times when they were in close combat they would be able to push and use that on an enemy to hurt them um, so there was a design they also had some that would turn and come apart and you'd be able to use them as throwing stars. But I think that's more movie than than actually um, accurate description. But the square pointy ends were for tight. Once you get in tight combat, you can use that to, um, to hurt an enemy. 
Uh, now, a lot of the differences between the ninja style and the samurai style were the samurai would hold their hands like this. They were in a defensive fighting position waiting to make their um, their defensive posturing and then their strike, they were their follow through, right? Where a the, the ninja style would be held back as they were coming from an angle as a surprise. So you weren't supposed to know that somebody was standing in front of you waiting for a battle. This would be somebody who's coming at a surprise. So you would see the, um, the grip more uh, compact and ready to go so they can come at you from uh, angles you just don't see happening. But um, this one, crazy sharp. I'm gonna show you the, uh, and obviously I'm not gonna go through this whole thing because I'm about to do a review on it, but look at this. Whew, that's so nice, so nice. So I have these coming. I just wanted to do a review, a reveal on the, um, on the, <laughs> I almost put it in the bag without, uh, <laughs> without reholstering. Um, duh. But um, I just wanted to show you that one because I'm not going to be able to review it. So, you know, anything that passes through my hands, I like to show. And uh, even though I didn't get to show it the D-Bad style, at least you get a good look at it. If you're interested in buying one, I can tell you that physically holding it and seeing it, whew, it's beautiful. Um, I can tell you that owning the um, Shinwa Tanto that I did a full review on that um, is made, you know, the same way by the same makers, I can tell you that it was crazy strong. It held up to everything, and if you can watch my review on it, um, it was awesome. So I have no doubt in my mind that these are going to be able to perform. That one, he'll be performing on his own, but... This one, it's still Shinwa, it's the same company, it's Damascus Steel. So when I put that one through the trenches, you're going to be able to get a feel for all of their Damascus um, katanas to be able to see exactly what you'd be looking at as far as strength, durability, and usability. So, that being said, uh, I'm going to put that back in its box, bring it to my, bring it to my buddy. Man, it is so impressive, so, so impressive. Um, such a nice sword, such a nice sword. It's very, very good looking. The teal, man, the teal looks great. I'm a Patriots fan, but I have to say, all you um, Miami Dolphins fans out there, you would love this thing. You would love this thing. It is gorgeous. Um, that's it, guys. That's it, guys. The Shinwa uh, Regal Katana, um, in all its glory. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Speaking of peace. I'm out. I'm Donnie B. All day. Until next video.